and welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show. I'm Brent Bates. And I'll tell you what, I can't wait to hear what this guest has to say. We've got Jeremy. You know, so many people want to talk about or want to think about how, how do I get crypto into my IRA? Jeremy's going to be able to tell you. Jeremy, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Hey, the pleasure is all on this side, Brent. So tell the people a little bit about your company, what you all do, and, uh, and then you and I'll get to chew the fat because this is an area that I've got uh, some expertise in from bygone decades. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, well, our company originated, uh, started building its foundation in 2014. That's when things started to change better for digital currency. Um, I'll, I'll say Bitcoin was you know, created after the 2008 crash. It, its first coin sold in 2010. And then the IRS started seeing the advantage of its growth potential, which therefore they started viewing it as a commodity, allowing it in a self-directed IRA, how it was taxed. Okay. And we were already in the industry with self-directed IRAs with our parent company for precious metals. Uh, so we started looking into digital currency and we founded Bid IRA and launched uh, close to the end of 2015. Uh, so wow. we... Yeah. So we did a, you know, it was a lot of preparation. It wasn't like the tax code changed and the next day a company was there sure, at the doorstep, sure. you know, so. Uh, it's pre preparation and opportunity met. For, let me do real quick for my redneck buddies out there <laughs> driving the pickup trucks and everything. A self-directed IRA, you know, basically when it comes to the uh, laws of your IRA, most people end up uh, getting custody and reporting and products all melded together. And that's usually the Merrill Lynch's of the world. And so they'll, they'll do the filing, uh, depending on what kind of plan it is, different reports to the IRS. They give you the stuff to invest in. Uh, and usually uh, a lot of times you're kind of limited in what you can invest in by them. But the actual tax code for retirement plans allows you to invest from hither to yonder. And unfortunately, most of us are investing in a fairly narrow strata because our investment opportunities are restricted by who is handling our plan. So a self-directed IRA allows you to direct your investment choices, and it gives you the cornucopia of everything from rental real estate to digital currency. So when he talks about self-directed IRAs, that's that's the definition of that. All right, so go. So y'all started 2014, 2015. So how did it start out? Started out great. Um, you know, the biggest the biggest concept was was and the question that we got was was what is cryptocurrency? What is blockchain? You know, and and that's the biggest question still to this day, Brent. I'm still learning new things about digital currency every day and about the blockchain i kind of focus primarily to the tokens that are offered which we can get to a little bit later but you know what i can how it went was i, I explained it to them as gold and silver i'm very familiar with precious metals physical gold physical silver silver is an industrial metal gold is a conservative you know finite supply asset that can be held bitcoin same concept scarcity controlled finite asset um Wealth preservation, the opposite of the monetary policy we live on, which is inflation. <laughs> its purpose was to create deflation. Exactly. I saw the, the money that's printer my, on your desk. That, that's there. my, you know, Biden's an antique. So I got my antique money machine right here. But yeah, yeah. He's, been, he's been wheeling that baby hard. <laughs> and I'm not a, a technical person. So the fact that I'm even in the industry of digital currency blows my mind every day. But I, I, I used its concept and, and focus on something that I did know. And I started understanding it made sense. I started investing in it in an early age. It's done real myself really well. It's done our customers really well uh, who have held on to it. I always say, if you're going to get into digital currency, give it a three to five year yeah. hold and see how it goes from there. Yeah. Well, now, so let me ask you this question. And so um, do you have a, because most self-directed IRAs have a third-party administrator and yep. that third-party administrator for you folks out there, he does the accounting function and filing the 5,500, I think is the traditional one for the IRAs and so on and so forth, filings yep. back to the IRS and such. Do you all act as a third-party administrator or do you work with multiple third-party administrators? We work with a specific qualified custodian um, okay. to be the administrator of the IRA. Um, difference between 
qualified custodian and third party administrator is qualified custodians are held accountable by state and federal law. So it gives our customers more regulations in their IRA, more um, a sturdier foundation, I would say, for an administrator who does the uh, bookkeeping of the account. Now, we would be the primary point of contact. We facilitate everything. So we'll help with the setup of that account. We'll help with the transfer of funds from your existing IRA to diversify you. We get you set up on the exchange. We get your cold wallet set up. And then we facilitate your transaction. And then, of course, you'll have access to our self-trading platform, um, very similar to you know something like Coinbase, except this one's linked to your IRA. You can set limit orders. You can buy and sell and place trades on your own. 22 hours out of the day, seven days a week. Um, reason why I say 22, seven and not 24, seven, 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when all trades settle. So that's the cutoff time. And then starting following morning will allow you. I'm a more of a buy and hold type guy. I, I don't like catching falling knives. So <laughs> yeah, I, I if, just buy if, and if, hold. If that two hours bothers you, you got a problem. I mean, exactly. <laughs> if you can't get enough thrill out of the other 23 hours, give it up, dude. You're probably not doing that well anyway. Well, and especially when it comes to crypto. So let me ask you a question. Um, how much How much is available in regards to uh, pairings and, and what's actually uh, tradable through, uh, through your IRA? There's a total of nine assets um, that, that we uh, that are allowed. I mean, when it first started, I mean, every exchange was just in an IRA was Bitcoin and then Ethereum came out right. and then Litecoin was there. Um, so out of all those, we have a total of nine available. Um, everybody can view those on our website, read about right. them, but I can ramble them off. You know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin. Stellar Lumens, Zcash, Chainlink, and Aave. I call it AAVE, right. Aave. Um, I, I primarily focus, though, because it's an IRA. You, oh, yeah. you have all these exchanges. You have access to thousands of altcoins if you want to gamble yeah. your money and put a little yeah. here and there and see. For an IRA, I mean, to me, its definition is, is growth built over time. Sure. So I look at it a great fit for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Oh, yeah. uh, some of the others, too, but, you know, me, I, I, I'm glad that y'all started down at the bottom of the barrel with Bitcoin and Ethereum and worked up from there. So, <laughs> absolutely, and and a lot of people will will. And the main question I get is, is well, why don't you offer all these other altcoins? And what they don't understand is, is that a lot of these other altcoins you can't purchase with the U.S. dollar. Yeah, yeah. you know, you have to buy certain cryptos and then take it oh, to yeah, other exchanges yeah. inside of an IRA. The only I can't buy Tesla stock with Apple stock. I have to sell Apple into a USD position yeah. and then purchase. Same concept. It's still an IRA. Same rules yeah. apply uh, to this retirement you. account. Well, um, listen, I'll tell you what. Our, our eight minutes are up. What I'm going to okay. do right now is, is I'm going to sign off for the show, but you and I are going to keep going for a while. And then we'll set this on our website as, as, as a full you know, it may end up being 16 minutes before it's over with. So we'll sure. be back on the Wild West Crypto Show after two minutes.